For some reason, that album cover right there reminds me of Candyland. And if you don't know what Candyland is, you need to find out, because it is one of the most classic board games of all time. Not that anyone really cares about board games anymore. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmatterssite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is just that. It's an indie review for Danny Zaki's album, Diplomatic. Now, Danny is a rapper from out of Elizabeth, New Jersey, and this album right here is a concept album. It tells a story of a guy who gets tired of his basic 9-to-5 life and decides to shake things up a little bit, so I'll go into detail as we work through this review. But just like I always say, check underneath this video so that you can find Danny's links, music, social media, etc. Now the title track sets the story off here, as Danny is spitting about how the main character, who we'll refer to as Danny, just for the sake of keeping things easy here, the main character is just tired of that basic grind of going to work, going to school, just that basic type of shit that a lot of us get caught up in at some point in our lives. The next track, Life I Chose, expands on this idea, as it has Danny spitting about waking up to having a diploma, a bunch of loans to pay off, and an asshole for a boss. And I know some of you out there can relate to this shit, because how many people go through that? You think you're going to graduate and get a diploma and then get a perfect job and make all this money, but then you end up working some dumb job with a shitty boss. Happens to the best of us. Now the beat on Life I Chose is pretty simple, it's just a bassy piano track. And that's actually the problem with a lot of the production here. I find most of it to be very simple and kind of bland. There's just not a whole lot to say about a lot of these beats. But I really did like the production on the song Rabbit Hole because it has this villainous cartoon sound to it that reminds me of the old Spider-Man cartoon. And I'm talking old Spider-Man, not this 90s shit. I'm talking about like the first Spider-Man cartoon. And there's also some nice vocal chopping and sampling done on the song No Turning Back where Danny, the character in the story, who we're just calling Danny, I know I'm kind of making things a little complicated here, but anyway, where the character in the story has come so far in his journey that he just can't turn back because he's burned a lot of bridges and has done a lot of crazy shit, but I'm not going to give away the story, and you'll have to listen to find out more. But we're going to rewind the story a little bit and go back to Life I Chose, because after that song, on the song Adam and Eve, Danny spits about the negative effects of a relationship that just goes wrong and it goes broken. So we know what happens when that goes down. Shit does not get good and a lot of emotions and feelings get stirred up. And skipping past Rabbit Hole to the song Cloud Nine, we get some pretty cool string production here and Danny finally tells off his boss and quits his job. Which makes him feel like he's on the right path or Cloud Nine. After that, he gets in the studio with Kevito and E-Villain for the song Live For This. And this beat here is one of the better ones in my opinion, because it has this fast-paced piano happening, and it's more of a banger when compared to a lot of these tracks. As far as the verses go, I thought Danny stole the show with the first and fourth verses, but Kevito and E-Villain's verses weren't too special to me. There wasn't much that was memorable, and there were some one-syllable lines being kicked that just didn't live up to standards, or at least they didn't live up to what Danny was bringing on this album, because he actually has some nice flows and a very confident rap style. Now to fast forward through the story a little bit without giving everything away, Danny continues with the drugs on High Hopes bombards his liver with liquor on just getting started, and then he gets into some serious trouble on Every Night Ends, which leads to him hitting rock bottom on the song In the Abyss. So as you can see, there's a lot of shit happening here, and again, I don't want to give the story away, so check it out for yourself and hear what's happening with all these tracks, because there is a good story being told. But as for the overall sound of this album, like I said, the production is definitely the weakest part of it because I found most of these beats to be forgettable and most of them didn't pop to me. And that actually makes some of these songs drag on, especially the ones that are five to six minutes in length because there's not a whole lot going on with the production that keeps your attention. But like I said earlier, Danny does have a good rapping style and he sounds like he's not an amateur. It sounds like he knows what he's doing because he has a great delivery and some solid vocals. So the rapping here is actually one of the strongest points on this album. So Danny has that part on lock. But there's also the fact that where this album tells a story from the first song to the last song, that kind of makes some of these songs not work too great as standalones. And at times the story can get a little bit hard to follow, because it's not condensed here. I actually think one of the things that would have made this album much better is if the songs were a little bit shorter, the length of the album was a bit shorter, and if the production was better. These things would have really made this project extra dope in my opinion, which is why I give this one a 3 out of 5. 
But that's just what I thought about this album. Check it out for yourself and hit us up in the comments section. Maybe you guys like it better than me. Maybe you see where I'm coming from. Whatever it is that you feel, let us know because it's always good for these indie artists to have more feedback. Because this is just my opinion. I don't speak the gospel. But anyway, make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.